Welcome to UFC 179, Saturday, October 25th, 2014, with a prelim fight, Jan uh, Cabral versus Neo Yuki uh, Kotani. Uh, this is uh, Colonel Jack's destination. I'm Colonel Jack. This is Big Dog Jimmy over here. Uh, we're doing a prediction on this prelim fight of uh, Yan versus uh, Kotani. So this one is going to be a very interesting fight. Uh, Jan, uh, Jan um, he is 11 and 1, where uh, uh, Kotani is uh, 13. I mean, 33, 11 and 7. Wow. Seven draws. That's crazy. Thirty-three wins, eleven losses. Uh, where Jan, he has only, he has eleven wins with only one loss. Twelve fights under his belt. Where uh, his opponent has uh, forty-four plus seven. You know what I mean? So it, it's just pretty crazy. Um, you know that guy's fought so many times. Um, so uh, Jan, he has the. Uh, uh, he has the advantage in the submission department with 91% uh, victories with uh, submissions where uh, 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 Kotani, he has 76%, so it goes in favor of Jan uh, Cabrel for uh, the submission. But in the KOTKO department, it's 15% in favor of uh, Kotani with uh, Jan not having any victories by KOTKO. Uh, he, they both come in at a tie uh, somehow at 9% in decisions when it goes to the judges. So I believe this one is going to uh, be a very interesting uh, fight with the two of these guys. Uh, Jan Carrell, he is from Brazil. He's fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil at UFC 179. He's 31 years old, 5'11", uh, Kotani. He is from Japan. He's 32 years old, so he is the older fighter by a year. He's five foot eight. Uh, he is shorter, uh, you know. So this will be very interesting. He has lost multiple of his last fights in the UFC. Um, most recently to Norm uh, Norman Park, uh, who is out on a uh, injury right now, unfortunately. Um, this guy uh, Kotani is 25. That's right, 25 wins by submission, 5 knockouts. So, uh, you know, that's very impressive uh, for uh, Jan. He uh, lost his last fight at UFC Fight Night, Brown versus Silva. And uh, he lost to Zach Cummings, uh, but he had won his uh, two previous fights before that that they show here. Uh, he is uh, 5 first round finishes, submission breakdown, 5 arm triangles, Two arm bars, two Kimuras, and one rear naked chokehold. This guy's a submission machine. Um, you know, he's one with four different submissions. That's very boss, very beast like. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens here. I'm going with Jan Cabrell, um, the submission machine, versus Kotani. Uh, I think, you know, Kotani has won a lot of fights, but he's also lost a lot. He's on quite the losing streak from what I see here, uh, you know, on the UFC uh, website, you know. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm saying uh, a lot for some reason. You know, so uh, Big Dog Jimmy, he believes that we're going to end up, um, that uh, Kotani is going to get a submission hold onto Jan in the first round and make him tap out. But I think it's going to be the other way around. I think Jan is going to come up and he's going to get a rear naked chokehold on to Kotani. And he is going to make him tap out in the first round. That's what my prediction is. That he's going to win by submission in the first round. Big Dog Jimmy thinks he's going to make him tap out with an arm bar. Ah, arm, arm, ah, ah. Let go, Big Dog. Ah, let go. Calm down there, buddy. So... It's going to be a very interesting fight uh, with Big Dog, you know, with uh, Kotani and uh, Jan. Uh, yeah, also, subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think of our prediction. Do you think I'm right with Jan winning, or do you think Big Dog Jimmy is picking correct with Kotani? Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to Colonel Jack's Destination to support the channel. Like the video. Share the video. Let us know what you think is going to happen. What was that? You think he's going to knock him out with a kick now? What? He could win with a knockout by a kick to the head? I don't know about that. So we'll find out eventually with UFC 179 coming up really soon.